So wait, are we going to be hearing Brady? Nope. Shepard? So he's he's go, he's going to be he's going to be deafening. Okay. And he's just going to be spectating because he's going to be in the match with us. Awesome. Just wanted to make sure. Yeah, no. And I have him. He's out. He's all the way on the other side of the arena. So shouldn't hear him on my mic either. Wouldn't it be better for him to just spectate from his own account and be able to move perspective whenever he wants to rather than realize? Yeah, he is. Oh, okay. That's the thing is he's on a different computer and he's going to be spectating in game. Yeah, I'm, I'm okay, sure cool. Sure. Tell me when you're going to invite me to game and stuff like that. Yep. Bum, 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 bum. We don't have the tournament code yet. Bum. Yeah, it'll come up very soon. Cool. I'm going to use desktop, desktop audio until then. Yeah.
Aira Aira. Yes, you can. Dude. I want I want Hank Hill as an anime. Aira Aira. <laughs> Yes, you can. Well, look like Dude. I know God, the hell a I want, I want Hank Hill as an anime. I just want a picture of a god dang like hot dog. God dang it, Bobby. That well, Fujiwara like kid hell needs hell to get his ass kicked. I just want a picture of a god dang hot dog. I read, like, an article. I don't even know how true it is, but uh, Japanese people actually like King of the Hill. Do I look like I know what the hell All right, we are starting. Banning Katarina. Here it comes. Clear the fucking claw. What the fuck are they gonna ban? There it is. Yeah. <laughs> so we're first picking Orn. Very predictable. Yeah. Okay. Uh, what is our second ban? Yasuo. Yeah. Five hundred K mastery. He's like thirty-seven percent win rate or some shit like that. I think okay. Yone. Yone's a better ban. Sure. And then we can. We're not picking Leona anymore, right? Because we don't have the misfortune. Yeah, we don't right. know. I don't know what we've got going on yet. The third band, Nami? Jax. Nami. <laughs> Watch him ban Sivir. Good. Yes! We're not going to play the Leona anyways. Let's do, Let's do oh. it. Alright, alright. Orn first Orn first pick. Let's go. Orn Wukong? Orn Wukong. Because we wow, now have... We're about to get drafted. Yeah, to war. <laughs> I love war. I Camille's, love a, war. Camille's a good pick. You literally, you literally, all you do is just pick, um, just get Ramble Vest first item. And there's Janna. Janna. Okay. I mean, if we Siver, pick like Sever Lulu, or if we pick Sever Senna, I mean, I we walk all over the Janna. Let's just do Sever Senna. If you, if you're Sure, Sivir Senna. I, li if you I, feel, I like Senna a lot. If you feel I good think, about it. So here's the thing too. Um, it, it gives me the range to compete with a Kate. <laughs> what are what are we thinking about like Wukong Oriana as mid and jungle? They might ban the Wukong here. If not, I'll go Maokai for a little bit more AP. I I really like Wukong Oriana. If they're mid shows just, first, I, I'm gonna look to see what they they're uh, they're gonna pick ADC here. Most, more, like more than likely. It's probably going to be like Caitlyn. If they're mid picks to for me, I want to like... Ooh, Isa. That's really bad for her, actually. You guys just got to be careful of tornadoes. Yeah. Do we want to ban out their mid now? Yeah. Let's just ban just out... Get like, rid of, like, yeah, like, so bad well. Anytime she sends out a tornado is a good oh, time isn't to that, start poking. Isn't that one guy playing Udyr like a shit ton? Yes. We can ban Udyr. I really hate playing against Udyr. I do too. He's so annoying. He also Give plays him... Rek'Sai, and he has really good success on Shinjao. I can I can deal with Rek'Sai. I can actually if I go Maokai here, I can dodge uh, Rek'Sai's ultimate. Um. Do we? Yeah. True. Do we get away the Sejuani? What do you mean? He plays Sejuani too with this team. I I don't like Udyr at all. I mean, yeah, I don't, I, I, I think I hate Udyr more. I think my I, Udyr is unfounded, but I, look, yeah, fucking hate that champion. that champion. The champion sucks ass. I can't kite that. We do need a tank, so I think, I think Maokai is a really good pick here. Yeah. Maokai, okay, Maokai ult and Sivir ult are really fucking good, along with Orn ult. We can just come second to objectives all fucking day. It what were you going to say? We strong start for damage in mid, because right now we just have Sivir, and she can struggle in certain games. So you want Orianna mid, or what What do you want? Um, you already know what you're going to play. Do you want to pick first? Or do you want me to... Well, we, we, we don't show at this point. Like, we are, we're literally just picking whatever like we don't what do you mean show yeah, like no like do you want to you know what you're gonna play do you want to pick your characters like pick mine after yeah just take your time waiting just thinking yeah. about it because i'm picking yeah. maokai no way i want to see what they're uh, do you want they know we're not going to see what they're playing yeah. uh, you can play like silas they don't really have any really get steal, good though. usage off the ult yeah uh, we can put Vex. Or Vex. 
Do you want Vex? Vex is pretty strong. Yeah. Vex, like he's, Vex. He, th wait, into this into the into this player, he's gonna play something with a lot of dashes. He's not yeah, gonna play a control will... mage. Fair. I think this is a really good team. Camille. Welcome back. They look pretty bad on Camille. Yeah, I'm, they don't. They're not gonna know what to do. You just go Bramble Vest. Oh, okay. Ram Ranch. Oh wow! Look at that. Zoe. Okay. Look how many dashes. Because she's gonna pick up flashes. Yeah. Yeah. Not. And that, this is interesting. Hello. I am Alex's friend. I shall be casting the game. Really good, strong graph coming out of both teams. Constantly loves it, picks it, whatever. There's always another way. Let me add up. They better bend the jacks. The orange strong pick. Tanky, but sneaky amount of damage. The Camille to help try to counter the tanky picks. Obviously, we already saw the draft, but I think Vex here for the mid laner is going to be really well. Due to due to the due to the mobility that the other team poses. Zoe's gonna be interesting here because this is a lot of a skill. If Zoe's able to, is able to hit her, hit and land her skill shots, this is gonna be really well. Who questions my ability? No cure for fools. Our boy Alex can do it on the Maokai. Mr. Mao has two things in common. <laughs> Kaisa, my personal favorite. My main. And uh, as a Silver 4 ABC player, I can recommend it to everybody. Now this Sivir, now this Sivir pick is going to be trying to not try and fight Kaisa, which is the goal, is to just poke them down and just see yes. Also, dodging these Janic Hughes are going to be insane to the end for them. Game plan is just to farm and scale, and eventually overpower the team with levels, levels and items. Let's see. CMCC versus St. Peter's Peacocks. The 
a funny no band coming out of St. Peter's was also pretty funny. I thought it was a mistake. Well, let's get it here. Blue side CMCC, red side St. Peter's Peacocks. Let's go. Now, because we're spectators, we're not allowed to cheat. A little boring, but it's what we have to do in order to be fair. For casting, I am, I am sneak peeks. I'm a sub for the CMCC team, and uh, this is a perfect opportunity. We'll see how this goes, and see the game plans for both teams take effect. The bot lane matchup being most important, but I, I think that what Alex is going to try to do here on Maokai is to try and uh, help the mid and top a little bit. As said in the post game, in the pregame. He's going to try and uh, let bot lane do their own thing while be weak side, while top lane and mid lane are more of the focus. So these rift heralds are also going to be more important. As we get to 35 seconds here, that'd be great. And... Uh, Brad for the Sivir. He feels really comfortable on it too. It's one of his main picks. Luckily that misfortune didn't go through or else the enemy team would be screwed. But because my man is a monster on that misfortune. Five seconds here to go. We'll actually be able to see the game. Let's go. The grass board, pretty nice. And also, more of the fleet footwork Senna, going for those poking pokes and heels and is trying to stay safe. Lethal Tempo Kaisa, so that she's going to hopefully try and build more of the poke build, more of the kite and poke build. With with Kraken Slayer into PD, this is how that's going to work. Phase Rush Hecarim, standard, pretty good. Let's see how this top one works. Oh, a pause. A pause coming out from the enemy team for us. Oh, no smite coming out of Alex. So, 
I think I'm gonna have to exit this and remake. Let's see if this is going to go through a little bit of bureaucracy here. So St. Peter's are kind of trying to argue that since he since the game started, he didn't go smite. That they're going to try and make him play it out. And obviously that's not going to be good. So yep, that's what Peacocks are trying to go here for. They want they want the, him to play it out. Obviously, they'll lose. No smite is awful. We'll see if they'll go through with it. So from what I've seen, they are going to play it out. Just because we're de uh, behind, we're going to have to wait. This does suck for CMCC. So I don't know how this game is actually going to end. <clears throat> maybe, maybe they just wait till 15, take the take the FF because I think that is perfectly legal to do. Rule set wise, so we are gonna. They're probably just gonna wait till 15, FF, go on to the next one. Summoner's Rift. The 
Doing their CMCC doing their five point. Both both sides doing the great five point. Alex moving up for a top lane. Jeez. But I think the Camille already saw this. If not, we'll see what happens. So, it looks like here, a top, a top lane change. She is into... Into... Into maybe a death. But bot lane's just going to go in here and grab some bush space. Mid lane here, just starting its wave. And red side leashing, leashing blue side, the jungle. Let's see if they can get the cheese going. Oh, They're trying to go some wave management here. From what I've seen, this this jungle strat kind of failed here. So already this plan of bullying the top lane in mid are coming out of way. First starting with the top, then starting blue side. Got to be a very late clear, though. That's what I'm worried about. With the Maokai clear here, into the mid lane. Looks like Vex has more of a control over the style of the lane. Same down with Bot. This one saver just does good. Pushing in the wave. And then getting vision. Alex is going to try and make a play here for the, for maybe either Vision or maybe going, oh, planning to go to the red. Let's see how he does about this, because he's super late. Hecarim is going to be up here. Yeah, level one, the three. They know that there's some sort of plan happening here. He hasn't even started a single camp. Zero to 16 right now. As we see, 400 gold difference. Trying to steal the red buff. Unsuccessful. But has Orin come up to protect him? Mid lane here. Trying to catch out the Zoe is not successful. Level advantage for the Zoe. Hits the Q. So we have, so Hecarim is about to finish his first clear. He's either going to look for a gank bat or back for this kind of advantage. They're going to look for the Orin here. Get the stun. Catch the out of place Orin. Orin is dead. First blood goes to the Hecarim. Successful Q onto the onto the Zoe. So it looks like Bot's gonna try and back here. With a literal thousand like 900k lead. 900 lead on the red side. Or in TP's back the lane. To try and catch the wave. Hecarim here taking the scuttle and looking to invade. Maokai is going to be late to this. But Hecarim is rethinking his options since he does not know where the... Where Maokai could be. So he's going to gain vision. And look to gank the mid laner. Successful. Nice flash. Still caught him with a little bit of the side of the W. But still. Gets away. Janna comes up to support the Hecarim. The invade here happening. Defenseless. Three levels down. Bot lane's just gonna get a free free leash here. But look at the vision 
that bot lane has. They they have perfect vision here on the bot side. Knowing where they're going to be and knowing how they're going to be. Jungle supporting the mid lane here. Still down on down on level. Basically acting like support here. Actually bought a support item due to no smite. So they're just gonna two two one two two for the mid lane. Ooh. Uh, they off the uh, unoptimal play for the mid lane. Then again, CMCC is put into a rough position of of no smite on their jungler. Not looking really well. Top lane, Orin, helping him, helping Maokai at least get something. Just needing to keep in level. Not much you can do here. Really good help, friendship. Camille is going to be able to push this top wave in and maybe get a plate. Maybe. Maybe not. Bot lane pushes up here to try and gain vision versus Zoe and Hecarim are coming back from base with a ton of gold. Even though it is support item, double support. We will see here that it's just a good lead. But bot lane looking here with a good CS lead right now versus versus Janna and Kaisa. It's a good W. Hacker coming in for here for a gank. We'll try to catch out the Sivir. Sivir with the spell shield into the Sa Senna W. Really nice. Hecarim here is going to be looking for... Oh, what's this? Ah, uh, but he's going to die to the one on one and one. So... Not a good trade, because every moment that they die is a moment of a little bit closer due to this two support pick. Camille TPs into lane, and red side is able to get pick up the first dragon of the game. Vex in the back here, or just playing safe, playing really far from the wave. Because of Zoe's massive range and damage. Especially up with a with a lot of damage. We all know Zoe. For what it's going to look like, this game is going to have to be on the mid and bot lane. Actually, smart play from, from Sivir here. Buying the call. Because she's not going to be trying to interact with them at all, other than poking them down. The only goal for this balling is to just collect CS. And the more gold, the better. A little trade coming out here. Camille gets away. And Maokai going to be trying to at least do something with his clear. Because he's Maokai with his saplings, it's much easier to do farm so this might help a little and with that new passive bust that Maokai got he's able to jungle way better by getting hit by more jungle camps taking up the mid lane here red will be able to get the next objective not much exciting game this is how red's gonna close out their close out this game it's gonna be trying to just push your advantage in the jungle without the enemy ju without no jungle to contest and basically play for their mid play for their mid and their advantages which in this case would just be Hecarim and Zoe top has a losing lane for blue side until maybe like level 13 for 
Oren gets his item upgrades to his teammates and to himself. We look here, kind of an 800 gold lead on, on the red side, which is really surprising coming from where this Maokai is. He's a support, but he's doubling his jungle. And soon enough, because he's taking CS, because he's taking all this gold, actually, because he's taking jungle camps, it's fine. He won't get the reduced gold. So, Hecarim's gonna look to either go throw this either mid or bot and look to get a gank. Top lane, trading a little bit, not much. Uh, Maokai's shadowing. And mid not really nice to do anything. Because of this ward, Zoe has a lot of good range. Maokai looking for the invade, but the fight! There's... Let's see! Oh my god! Let's go! The Orin picks up the kill, which is really insane for this type of lane. With the help of the Maokai. But now they know Maokai up is, is up in the top lane. So the, so the Zoe is now going to look to try and make a play towards the bot side. Same as the Hecarim. They're going to be Rift Heralding bot, knowing that Maokai is top. Free gold here. Let's see if Sivir can do anything about it. So she's just going to have to farm and stay safe. While Hecarim just backs here and looks to play safe. Most of the blue side is backing here. Kaisa is going to be going for the hybrid build here actually. With Tear of the Goddess. Sivir is almost done her call item. She's about to get it done it right now with a 30 CS lead already with the calls. 350 bonus for finishing it. So now, only 20 CS behind this Hecarim. It's actually really surprising. Let's top lane here with an actual shutdown. He hasn't died in a while. He has a really good CS advantage. So he's just going to look to play safe here and let uh, Camille do her own thing. Kind of the big deal. This is how this lane played. Zoe looking for some cheeky play there. Not going to get it off due to, due to the Vex knowing how to play this matchup. First mythic item, second mythic item actually, goes onto the board for blue side. Second mythic item of the game. Sivir finally gets the Kraken Slayer she desires. Oh, I missed it, sadly. But this game is just going fast. News from the bot lane, news from the top lane. Red side is just trying to push her lead with these kills. With a... With a, like a 1,500 gold lead. 2,000 now. 1,000. So, the goal is just to assimilate this gold lead. Double buffs. This is going to look really bad for the Auron. Trying to trade off. Just not successful. Camille is just able to get the kill there. Hecarim here. Looking for a gank. Not going to work. Send a Caesar. Right now, this is kind of just a match between the bot lane. Because in the end, this is where it's going to decide the fight. If if Maokai can CC people, and if, if the bot lane can just deal damage. See? Like this here. The team fight. Shiver up at the front line. Hecarim tried to find something, but just could not. Or in TPs to try and support the team fight. Team fight's already basically won. Bot lane's just gonna try and take more jungle here. Unsuccessful. Did not time that well. 
but the bot lane dragon second dragon is secured for blue side but the camille will take will kick this top turret oh what's this is janna trying to grab more vision it's now gonna be transitioning down to the bot side trying to push out this lead It is fifth. It is above 15 minutes. I did forget about this. They are not gonna. They're just gonna be playing this out because they believe that they can play this game. Kaisa W misses. Division. Orin just forced to play back here on turret. Camille gonna be looking for a back here, or maybe some vision to help secure and gain vision for the Rift Herald. Most of blue side is back, and so this Rift Tail take looks really good. Zoe, top lane, and Hecarim are all going to be coming to support this. But blue side do know that this is happening. So let's see if they can either give or they're going to play it. They're, they're going to be transitioning four up to the top side. We'll be send it down the bot. Let's see if they'll actually do anything about this. They will not get it. But they will try and win the fight hereafter, which they will. Let's see if he can hit it. Clapped. Let's go. So how far in the bureaucracy of this game, it does suck. But CMCC do believe that they are the better team. In the show, that it does not matter if you have a jungler or not. Ooh. Maokai here to assist. I thought Vex would get me caught out there. But great job on Alex and the Maokai to secure that. So bot lane right here is going to be playing a little bit ahead and behind at the same time. Their tower's low. They could be successful with the ganks. They don't have really good vision. But they are going to be able to try and dictate this turret. With this coming out, it just looks like it's going to look really well for them. And Senna at 60 stacks right now. 59, about to be 60. Bot lane does take the turret. This is going to be their first turret of the game. Look at that. A 5k, a 500 gold lead. Oh. Zoe tries to guess it. They're going to be playing for the dragon. Let's see if they can do that. Camille transitions to mid here, looking to push out and destroy the very important mid lane turret. Orin is going to be caught out with that. Zoe with the ghost is going to try and look for this. Hecarim's going to be trying to assist. They're going to be trying to dive this bot lane. Let's see if they can do it. So bot lane turret will go down. Oh. Camille going in here. 1v3. But is about to kill. Oh. But the Janna. Malka is here. Oh my god. A little bit. Of a miscalculation coming from the blue side. Believing that they could take that. Now. Gets more of an advantage. Red side just has to push this lead into the mid game and take use their gold advantage for the one and two items to try and force out these drags. Just in these moments, they're just getting caught out. The for red side, they're either getting caught out in dumb situations or they're pushing pushing the lead a little too far and then getting caught out by masterful play from CMCC. Now we're gonna see this Maokai. Let's see if he can survive this. He's gonna survive, but just by a sliver. If she had another E, that could have been really bad. Drake spawning. And everybody gonna be up for this. Let's see if they can do it. Saver taking the bot side. Well, Senna 
clearing, taking vision with Oren. Camille's gonna try and play this split pushy type of vibe here. Oh, poking out the enemy team. Camille is gonna TP in to help try and support the fight. From the side, all the Vex. Let's see if she can do anything. Vex is dead, she was focused. The huge fight, the Orinal hits three people, but the Kai'Sa. He's gonna double kill, kill the Sivir, and I think, I think the Senna too. Now Maokai is the only one here. Maokai and Orin, Orin has been lasting in this fight. Maokai will go down, Orin will go down with the Zoe E. And for the enemy team, this will be a secured dragon for the second. They will transition their lead to mid lane here to try and poke down the tower and maybe possibly look for early plays onto other objectives. After this huge lead, basically 4k ahead of this blue side. Let's see if they can do it. This is their goal, just to, due to the double support that was forced to happen. It just, just whittling them down piece by piece, hits even more harder for blue side. Something average here. Both top laners, just here, trying to, trying to split push. Camille's gonna back. Zoe has the Medjice. She currently has, I think, none on it. I think she had just bought the item, which is a really confidence buy. Bot top lane is gonna be pushed out here. Let's see. Orange get pick up bot wave here. Well, the f possibly a fight mid lane. Trades happening. The Senna might die. Nope. But thanks to the Senna W. Ooh. The Zoe hits the massive flash kill. And takes out the support. Hecarim here. Looking for clearing vision. But also looking for a play. That's possible. Or in, both top laners are going to be on opposite sides of the map. Looking to take the tier 2 towers. Right now, this is kind of sucks for red side because even though they do just have man advantage, they are sharing XP. Both the mid laner and the bot laner are all sharing XP. Camille here went in really deep, but it, it, for he, he is able to get away. Get away. Ooh, that did not feel good. Right now, just average looking setup here. Just trying to clear vision, take up, take what they need. And is if blue side is able to get picks here, like they're here, like example, they might be trying to bait out the Camille. But they, I think Camille kind of sussed out that something was gonna happen. Camille is able to get away and they were not able to make the play. So right now, this is going to be a clean transitioning to mid. Orin and Vex protecting the turret. Killing. W killing the Hecarim with the ulti. Gets the kill. Gets the pick. Is going to be able to set up for next objectives. With that smite gone from the red side, it's going to be more important to clear and focus this. But r red side is trying to focus the mid lane here. They're trying to take this mid objective. Mid tower, one of the most important towers in the entire game. Ensure safety for most members of the team. Let's see if Camille can get out here. She is able to, but... Oh, she's not. She's going to get caught out. Can she survive? Oh, this... The Vex E coming out from Gray. Is going to secure that kill. The two... 
the secondary pick ensures that Orin can safely play at these team fights. Now bots, they're gonna look to clear waves here in preparation for taking Dragon. So he's gonna have to act as a split pusher here for a second and then transition down to mid. Orin's gonna back here, but he has TP. It's gonna be fine for him. Both in the jungler is gonna get back. Everyone kind of looking for vision. Senna setting up the vision for Dragon. Let's see if they can actually do it. Zoe's starting to obtain these stacks here. And even though it doesn't look like it, bot, blue side bot laner, the Sivir is actually ahead on gold due to the massive CS difference of 80 CS. It's insane. The Sivir is so good at CSing, and now it's obtaining 